Insider documents recently obtained by InfoWars reveal the current and ongoing operations to staff FEMA and U.S. Army camps inside the U.S. According to our sources, KBR is contracting services for temporary fencing and barricades, along with other services required for temporary emergency environment camps. They're to be located in five regions of the United States. Now this comes immediately after the Senate passed the National Defense Authorization Act, which allows indefinite detention of American citizens. All this at a time when economic conditions and mass demonstrations sweep through the country and threaten potential unrest. The government has patiently put into place the crucial elements of its police state grid and plan for the internment of political enemies. We are literally one false flag terror attack away from the plan going live. As the Department of Homeland Security and establishment media keep telling us, the next terror event will be on American soil and carried out by domestic patriot political groups, not Al-Qaeda. The FBI and the CIA have a long history of creating domestic terrorists, you know, patsies, and shifting the blame over to their political enemies. It's all there. All the government documents, all the government admissions, a civilian inmate labor camp program run by the army, where they're at, all the details down to how they're going to break the families up and where the children go and the forced inoculations and everything. I mean, it just boggles the mind that all of this is happening. The fact that detention camps are being constructed inside our country and are now being staffed and readied for emergency situations, what can no longer be ignored or ridiculed as a conspiracy theory. Senate committee hearings and official Homeland Security documents further illustrate the mindset of our federal government as they classify homeschoolers, gun rights activists, constitutionalists, and returning veterans as potential terrorists. By default, creating an entire nation of radicals and revolutionaries, where everyone is a suspect, equally guilty until proven otherwise. I'm Darren McBreen for InfoWars Nightly News.